Hey guys, Alicia here from mobilitymastery.com and if you ever have to travel on a plane, even for a short time, but especially if you're traveling for quite a while on a plane or in a car, this is the number one thing you're gonna wanna do to make sure that you don't have a ton of stiffness, achiness, or even pain while you're on the plane, but even more importantly, that you don't contribute to something that's gonna happen when you step off the plane where you feel just like so gross from being cramped for so long. So there's one thing above everything else that I would have you do, and that is releasing your quad hip flexor fascia as much as you can around it, um, that entire piece of real estate. So what I'm talking about is basically, that's my hip bone, then this is the groove, right? Uh, the crease of my leg, if I were to bend my hip up, so that's the tendon right there. Anything in here is up for grabs. So all of this gets cramped when we're sitting. The rest of the quad actually is stretching, right? Because your knee is flexed, um, it's not extended. So the portion of your quad above the knee is actually getting overstretched if you're sitting on a plane for a long time, while at the same time, that upper quad fascia is getting super restricted and tight and in a contracted position the whole time. So that is gonna be my number one thing for you to release and I'm getting on a plane in a couple of hours so I'm gonna do it right now on me and you can follow along. Um, so what we're looking to do here, grab your roller. Um, I would use any roller except a knobby one for this. You don't want those giant knobs digging into your quad fascia when you do a pin and release type movement like I'm about to show you. Um, so a hard roller is fine, soft roller is fine. So I'm gonna go onto my left uh, quad hip flexor here. My right is actually gonna go off and then I am going to roll back and forth till I find the tender basically piece of real estate, right? I'm mapping it out right now. So I'm like, yeah, that whole thing is pretty tight. <laughs> so then I'm gonna stay on one spot and I might squeeze my quad and then relax it a couple times. And what that does is basically trick the tissue in your brain into letting the weight of your leg really sink into those tissues so we get a good pin. And then I'm going to rotate my leg back and forth. So right now I'm going for some lateral quad hip flexor fascia. Um, and that really gets into it when I do that. Um, and there's a little tiny clunk happening right there. So I would stay on this 20 to 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna go straight down onto that hip flexor. So I'm at less of an angle. And then I'm gonna do the same rolling back and forth just through that tender spot. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. So when you do this right, you don't need to do it for very long. So the whole point is slow, deliberate movement, not like super fast. So slow, deliberate movement. Um, and then I'm gonna roll down just a little bit towards my knee. And there's a giant adhesion right there. You can kind of see that clunk. And that's straight down on the quad. I could also move laterally again, do some bending and straightening or rolling. And then I could move in a little bit towards that adductor and same thing. And basically, if that fascia is sore or tender when you get on the roller, then it is unhealthy because healthy fascia won't hurt when compression is applied. Um, so, you know, there are varying degrees of suckiness when you get on there. Um, but generally speaking, if it's sore, then it needs to be released. So I would basically what I'm gonna do before I get on this plane after my last client is I'm gonna spend a good five minutes. That's really all I need on just my hip flexors, um, the quad hip flexors. So, you know, maybe two and a half, three minutes on one side, two and a half, three minutes on the other, finding probably I'm gonna find a good five or six spots. Um, so you wanna hunt out the best spots. So I can't stress that enough. If you don't get the best ones, you're not getting the best result. So you want to spend at least a, uh, a little bit, 
30 seconds or so mapping that area. That way you know where you're going. Um, one, two, three, four, five, or six. <laughs> Um, so really that's it. That's my number one tip for what to do if you only have five minutes and you want to feel better um, If you have to you know get on a plane or travel in a car or anywhere you're where you're sitting and honestly This would also be fantastic to do every day or at least every week if you work at a desk So anytime you have to sit a lot. This is my number one pick. I can't tell you how many clients of mine um, need this and most of us have super restricted fascia here. And if I had to pick only one thing for everybody on the planet to do, it would actually be this one. So have at it, have fun, let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. You can subscribe to our newsletter at mobilitymastery.com, it's free. Um, we'll email you new episodes of Mobility Mastery Monday, our pop Q&A that's happening right now. And I'll keep updating the channel as well with new little videos like this. Um, and feel free to send us you know, questions if you want specific tips on anything or specific body parts. Uh, info at mobilitymastery.com. We're taking requests and I will certainly try to do my best to get you those videos. So have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.